we find that these people, they're recreational people, and we know this out on our waters during the weekend. But one of the things that we frown on mostly is the fact that uh, they've got to have that six-pack along with them to really have a good weekend. And this is something coupled with the fact that boat operation causes kind of a hypnosis. And that, together with uh, imbibing on that beverage that we frown on so much, is uh, pretty dangerous to do. Uh, we find that in our boating accidents, we would say roughly there's about 80% of those accidents have involved the alcoholic beverages on boats. And also, you know, throwing these uh, uh, containers overboard is littering. This is a violation of the environmental laws as well. So we frown on uh, those beverages. Uh, we ask the people if they're going to be drinking some uh, of the uh, more soft drink type of beverages, that they keep those containers in the boat and dispose of them on shore properly, but have a real enjoyable weekend rather than one of those that end up as a statistic, which I'm sure you're pretty well aware of. I think there's a little of the Tom Sawyer in all of us, Bob. And when we get out on the waters, we forget our cares, our everyday worries, the hassle of the di daily living. And we have that freedom, the feeling of freedom. So we're just out there and we're just gonna let loose and let it all hang out, so to speak. And they forget that there is a ter tremendous responsibility while on the waters. Remembering the fact there are no ambulances, no fire trucks, and no tow trucks to tow anybody in. You're on your own. And if the uh, operator of a vessel has a tremendous responsibility. Uh, well, how he feels uh, a little after the weekend and that, uh, that long weekend, and he may feel pretty bad, you know. But these people are going to court. Absolutely, this is the same as a traffic citation you might receive on the highway, and uh, those uh, uh, offenses are very, very similar to uh, reckless operation in a vehicle on the highway or in the boat, same thing. And it can get pretty expensive. First, it must be registered uh, currently. The numbers as set forth in that certificate of registration must be placed on the forward border of that vessel on both sides. It must be block character, contrast in color, no less than three inches in height, uh, together with the current year decal. And usually we will go for that acquired equipment that is uh, most important. A Coast Guard approved personal flotation device, one for each person aboard. It must be accessible and they must be of the proper size and in good repair. Next, we will look for all the required equipment for that particular boat, uh, where you have uh, built-in gas systems that must have a fire extinguisher aboard. These are the required equipment, and all the, every one of them are designed for safety. And again, reiterating the fact that a boat operator is on his own out there, and if he doesn't supply the necessary required equipment, why then he's failing in his uh, responsibility as, a, as a, an operator for that boat.